So in today's video, I'll be showing you how to achieve the look that I'm wearing right now. It's a very, very easy smoky eye and I also added some pop of glitter right here. I think that this look is perfect for a night out or for a new year's eve now that it's a few days away. And if the glitter is a little bit too much for you, feel free to skip it. I think that also with this eye makeup you can wear whatever lipstick you want, whatever color, whatever finish. So yeah, I really hope you guys like this look. Please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Thank you guys so much for watching and let's go ahead and get started. Alrighty guys, so I'm going to start off with the eyebrows. I'm going to use my Sigma Brow Powder Duo in medium brown to fill them in. And I'm working with the Zweeva 317 brush. And then I'll use some concealer to clean up the edges. This is the Rimmel Wake Me Up in the shade... Um, what it is? I think that it's ivory. Anyway, I'm certain that this is the lightest one they have. I also use that same concealer to prime my eyelids. If you don't have an eyeshadow base, don't worry, you can always use a concealer instead. Just make sure that you don't use too much product. So I'll just take a little bit on my eyelids, like this. And I'll use my beauty blender to blend it out. And you always want to make sure that you set it with some face powder to prevent it from creasing. You can also use like a nude eyeshadow, translucent powder, whatever you have, but make sure that you don't skip this step. Okay, so the eye makeup today is going to be super duper easy, I promise. I'm going to use this Makeup Addiction Vintage Palette and I'll start off with this shade right here and I'll take it on the Morphe M333 brush and I'll apply it all on my eyelid. Make sure that you don't take it too high into the crease, just keep it on that lid area there. Again from that palette, I'll take this nude shade right here and using the Sigma E25, I'll just diffuse the edges of that brown shade and make it look nice and smoky. Okay, so that's all with the eyeshadows on the lid. I told you that it would be super, super easy. So now let's go ahead and do some winged eyeliner. I'll use my Maybelline Eye Studio Gel Eyeliner. And the brush I'm using is by Essence. I think that it's called Precise Eyeliner, something like that. And now is the time for the most fun part of the whole look. You can see that um, I kind of did the one eye, but I just couldn't resist. I really wanted to see how it looks before I present it to you guys. So I'll take... Oh, 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 it's now on the floor. So I'll use this glitter eyeliner by the brand Makeup Atelier. And I think that the shade is called Diamond. Wow, this is, this is so pretty. And then I'm taking again that black eyeliner by Maybelline and I'm going to do some touch-ups and make sure that the lines are all nice and straight. Next I'll glue on some false lashes. I'll go with this pair here by Iris Beauty, it's called Liberty. So I'm just curling my own lashes, coating them with some mascara and after that I'll just add the falsies. These are actually a very natural pair of lashes and I like that you can see what's going on behind them. You can see the eyeshadows, the eyeliner, everything when I have my eyes open. So yeah, and I'm just taking off all of that um, fallout that I had. I have my foundation on but now I'm going to add some concealer. This is the Catrice Liquid Camouflage and I'm in the shade Porcelain. Then I'm taking my Beauty Blender and I'm blending it out. And next, I'll set it with 
No, that's not the Rimmel Stay Matte Powder. This is the L'Oreal BB Powder and it just says that it's for light skin tone. It doesn't have a certain shade. And I'll use a brush today. This is the Sigma F35. And then to finish up the eye makeup, I'll take again that dark brown shade from that Makeup Addiction Vintage Palette. And I will apply a very, very small amount of it under my lower lashes. I'm using the Morphe M326. Going on the face now, I'll add some bronzer. This is by Jouer, it's called Santan. And I'm applying it with a brush from eBay. I got this a really, really long time ago and um, it was in a set. I think that it's actually really convenient for applying bronzer. And for blush, I'll go with this one here. Um, this is a palette by e.l.f. The brush I'll use to apply it is the Morphe M509. For highlighter, Makeup Geek Midnight Sun. I tried it in my previous video and ever since then I've been obsessed with it. <laughs> And I also apply that in the inner corners of my eyes. And now onto the lips. Feel free to wear whatever lipstick you want with this look. I think that this eye makeup is suitable for almost every lip color. So I will go with more of a nude shade today because I want most of the attention to be on the eyes. This is the Anastasia Beverly Hills liquid lipstick in the shade Stripped. And this is the finished look guys, I'm just obsessed with that glitter eyeliner, I'm looking at myself right now at the viewfinder and I'm like, oh my god, this is stunning! <laughs> I just love the contrast between the glitter and the eyeshadows and the eyeliner, just everything looks really really pretty. I was thinking what I wanted to wear on the New Year's Eve and I would definitely wear this look because it's absolutely gorgeous and I hope you guys like it too. By the way, we recently reached... 500,000 subscribers. I just want to thank you guys for everything that you do, for all the support, all the love. I love you guys so much. I want to give a huge hug to each one of you. I don't know what else I can say, just a huge thank you to each and one of you. And I love you guys. I love you. So yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed watching this video and you like the look that we created today. Don't forget that you can also follow me on my Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and also visit my blog. All of the links will be listed down in the description box. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in my next one. Bye!